What is up guys? As you can see we're back in Kerbal Space Program and I'm working on the second stage to our space station and what I've thought about is I don't really have a way to do any kind of orbit corrections um, with what I have up there now so uh, the next part is going to be this this bad boy and all it pretty much is is RCS tanks with some thrusters um, you got the uh, uh, command module right here where the Kerbals actually are and then you got the ASAS I don't know if I need that or not we'll see and then put some lights and batteries and solar panels and whatnot and I got this uh, two docking ports on the top and bottom so um, in theory this is what I want to happen is once I get this up into space uh, I want to go ahead and circularize the orbit and get it nice and even all the way around so um, it'll just make things much better and plus it'll give me a little bit more practice with doing things like that so what we need to do now is get a rocket um, underneath this that will be able to get us up into space mm, excuse me so with that said um, Let's go ahead and start building. Um, yeah. What I'm trying to do is get a good, uh, good, um, platform to keep launching from, but so far I haven't really figured out anything. Um, that I like. And one thing I, I, I failed to realize when I was building is I could be using this instead of using a big bastard um, like I did last time, the really big engine, I could use this smaller engine, um, this atomic engine, which has a pretty low thrust but a uh, pretty good um, um, ISP and efficiency once you're in the atmosphere or out of the atmosphere. So I'm um, use that to actually get us into our orbit and rendezvous and uh, use the bigger ones for while we're in the atmosphere so that's what we're going to do I think beautiful alright so I don't know how much fuel I need on this bottom stage that's too small too small. Engine power. 1500. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was looking for. Couldn't remember where it was. So, do I don't know. Do I need a bunch of stages around it? Or what do we want to do? I think that's what we're going to try is go ahead and put four around it. But instead of using smaller rockets, I think we're going to go with big rockets. It's probably way too dangerous. But we're going to do it anyways. Look at that. That just looks, looks awesome. And what we're going to do is run a fuel line from all of these into the center. So these outer stages are going to drain into the inner ones, and we're going to be good, right? Right? In theory, that's hopefully, hopefully, is what happens. Strut these bad boys up. Make it nice and solid. Alright, so let me zoom out a little bit. Look at this. I'm already terrified. Um, this is probably not going to end well, but that is what's good about this game. It makes it fun. So, Nope, I only want two. Okay, it's going to give me four. That's fine. All right, so um, it looks good to me. Let's go ahead and get it out and test it. And as you saw, the maneuvering pod debris, um, that was just when I was testing this. 
um, make sure all the action groups and everything was assigned correctly. Um, all right, so SAS on, throttle up. Forgot to stage correctly. That's fine. It's a little wobbly. It's probably going to overheat, so I probably need to throttle down a little bit. Yep, I was correct. Throttle down a lot. And I do think this is probably overkill. But overkill is better than underkill, you'd think, right? Maybe. Eh, we'll see. Newbie and Almy Kerman are terrified, which they probably should be. Oh, uh, you know what? I probably should have waited until I was overhead to make it a little bit easier to run to. But what are you going to do? I'm a noob. Just a little bit. I don't know if that was a good idea having all five of these engines gimbal. Huh, I don't have that center one going. Losing control. All right, so that was uh that was very easy. Mm. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I recall that good. Uh, I need to burn like 20 seconds ago. This is bad. I have no control. There we go. So probably not going to have the best orbit. Turn RCS off. Yeah, it gets really wobbly whenever I turn RCS off. Alrighty then. That's one way to get rid of that stage. But that's why we have this one. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get into orbit now or not.
It's a learning experience. Yeah, should be able to get into orbit. Oh yeah, you're going to get there, no problem. It's just, a, are we going to be able to rendezvous? That's the thing. That's the thing. And I waited to like the most inopportune time. It's on the other side of the planet. But that's the good thing. Uh, we have these wonderful flight planning um, maneuver nodes that we can use and I can use it to help me uh, get close so we'll see what we can do and a lot of you guys that's probably played this game before and are a lot better at me are probably uh, shaking your head and face palming and head to desk head to keyboard all sorts of different memes right now at me but hey, I'm learning like I said I'm I'm not I'm no expert not claiming to be um, so this is a learning experience for me so I, I just enjoy this game and, and um, hopefully I'll get better at it so So yeah, it, you saw it was only like a 30 second burn with the big thruster. Now with this uh, atomic thruster, it was well over three minutes when I started that I had to do this. So. Hopefully I'll start seeing my periapsis show up. Did a little bit of correcting. I'm still still very uh very high my altitude. Still a little under a hundred K. So I'm just waiting for that periaps to show up, hopefully. There it is. Still got plenty of fuel. That's what I like about uh, the the atomic thrusters and the ion thrusters. They don't use anything. So yeah, this is going to be an ugly, ugly orbit. All right, we'll go ahead and call that good. I know that that's probably the worst maneuver you've ever seen. All right, so we got plenty, plenty of fuel. So from now on, I could probably just go with a half, uh, a half fuel tank, or maybe a half and a quarter fuel tank. Don't I don't think I'm gonna need a full full fuel tank anymore. Um. Make sure the action groups work. They do. Very nice, very nice. Uh, but for right now, what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and call it an episode. I'm going to look up, study up a little bit on um, docking procedures and rendezvous to see what the best uh, situation is to uh, get this into... Um, actually... Isn't there a way to change the icons? Go back to this base center. Um, I really thought there was a way to change the icon. Uh, 
I thought that was a thing. Hmm. Hmm, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know you can click to that. So, hold on. Let me get back to this. Rename us. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Change icon to station. There we go. Okay. So then we go to this. Nope. And then we go. Ooh, almost into flight. That was almost bad. We go to the maneuvering pod. Well, it's not a lander. And so we'll go ahead and change this to a ship. Oh, nice. So yeah, we got the sports station one and the maneuvering pod. All right, like I said, guys, uh, probably going to read up a little bit, watch some videos, uh, maybe some of Scott Manley's thing stuff. Uh, He's pretty good. He's a freaking rocket scientist. He's brilliant when it comes to this stuff. So probably study up on that um, and try to be a little bit better at this. I know you know these are some horrible, horrible orbits, but until I get this guy connected to this, there's nothing I can do. So that's what we're going to do is go ahead and get set up for that. But again, guys, I appreciate you watching. There's more to come, so please stay tuned.